What's up Rebels, it is Chunky Monkey 40 here and today I have some really awesome announcements to make but first I would like to announce that I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this General Lee. This is an RC General Lee, unfortunately I do not have the remote for it but it's still a really cool piece to put into your display and what you're going to do is you're going to go to ChunkyMonkey40.com slash shop and you're going to purchase an entry there. The link to that will be at the top of the description and I will also sign the General Lee too. Where should I sign it? Mm. I'm gonna sign the trunk. There you go, Chunky Monkey 40. The one and only General Lee that is out there that is signed by me. And again, if you'd like to purchase a ticket, you can find that link at the top of the description, chunkymonkey40.com slash shop. Anyways, so I have now officially started an eBay store. As you guys have seen by my videos, I've been traveling a lot. And in my travels, I got a little bit of an addiction to antiquing. <laughs> and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start buying and selling antiques, but I'm going to start with selling some stuff from my own personal collection. And so these are the items that I've chose, minus this, this, and this, and this. But I have some stuff up on eBay right now, and this is basically everything I have listed. So far anyways, there's a lot more stuff that I do plan to list. It just, it takes a minute to get it all listed. So first we're going to start off with the most attractive piece, the Dukes of Hazard lunchbox. And yes, this does include the third. Thermos. It's in there. You got the Dukes of Hazard thermos. It's really cool. I really do love this piece. I got this at the Motor City Antique Store in Flat Rock, Michigan. And this thing's super cool. It's in pretty nice condition too. It's actually a nicer condition than the lunchbox that I have that I've gotten signed by almost the entire cast. This is the back side. You got Bo, Boss Hog, Daisy, Luke, Uncle Jesse. And then on the sides, you even have some scenes from the show too. Like there's Cooter running from the General Lee on two wheels. Boss Hog chasing after some Hazard County Sheriffs. Probably Roscoe and Enos. Then you got Cooter's Garage right here. It's a really cool piece. Then the next one is a General Lee actually, but it does not have any decals unfortunately. This is made by Knickerbocker. It's from shit. I, I, I can't see it on here. My guess is gonna be 1981, but this is from that era of the Dukes of Hazard when it was still on air. This piece would have been purchased for the Barn Busters set, which the Barn Busters set, it's basically where this friction car runs through the barn doors. Just like kind of what you saw in the Auto Trader commercial that the Dukes did. <laughs> Next up, I do have Daisy's Jeep. This is a die cast. I believe it's 125th scale, but the hood does open. This was made in, uh, in 1981. It's a really cool piece. I have three of these. I do not need three. Yes, unfortunately, this is broken. Every single one of them that I own, this is broken off of. I guess it must be hard to find them with the roll cage and this not broken on them because I've had zero luck whatsoever. <laughs> it could be easily fixed though with some glue or uh, liquid nails. Continuing on, with the Dukes of Hazard, this piece is really cool. This is the Hot Wheels Street Boss car from 1981. This thing's really cool, it's crazy. You would never in a million years again ever see Hot Wheels put a rebel flag at the top of a Hot Wheels car. And this car is actually cool because it's one of the many responses that other toy car companies had to the success of the Dukes of Hazard. Because the Dukes of Hazard became so successful that everybody wanted the rights to make a General Lee, but only Ertl had the rights for the diecast cars anyways. I mean, there was some knockoffs of them, and actually, I will be listing one of the knockoffs as well. Uh, I don't know when I'll be listing this. Hopefully, in the next week or so, but this is the Dixie Challenger. This is one of the more popular knockoffs. It still looks really good. There are some variations of it with the Rebel flag on the roof. I do have that one, but I do not want to sell it, but I have this one. <laughs> These things I still think are pretty cool. This is not up on the store yet, but I'm gonna get it listed soon. Um, Dukes of Hazard bubblegum card. This is really cool. I just recently discovered these like a month ago. So I bought two of them. I bought one that was signed by Catherine Bach and John Schneider, which is Bo Duke and Daisy Duke. 
And then the next week at the Motor City Antique Store, I also found this one. And so I've listed this one, it's available. Continuing with Dukes of Hazard stuff, we have this Dukes of Hazard Sun Catcher. This basically, you'd get a string, you'd tie it there. A Sun Catcher, if you guys don't know, you would paint all this stuff in, and then afterwards it glows whatever color you paint it. And it's supposed to spread positive energy and bring light of whatever color you paint it on here. Obviously, it's mostly gonna be orange. <laughs> and of course, you guys have heard me talk about it a million times. Orange Cars Matter stickers are available on both eBay and ChunkyMonkey40.com slash shop. You can purchase these. Uh, you can buy them solo now. You don't have to buy them in a five pack. You can buy these solo. And then I actually also finally have Chunky Monkey 40 stickers as well. Look at all of them that I have. I mean, I have like 400 of them. <laughs> There's a whole roll. It looks like toilet paper, don't it? That's Chunky, the Chunky Monkey. If you look closely at his hat, actually, you notice how mine, the one that I always wear, it says American Badass. His hat, it says American Fat Ass. So, uh, oh, the keychains. These keychains are available. They're pretty simple. It's just the rebel flag with the O1 on this side. And then on this side, it just says Cooter's Garage. This one has Dukes of Hazard on both sides. So those are actually being sold in a bundle pack if you'd like to get those. Drifting away from the Dukes of Hazard, I painted these myself and these rocks are actually from Pond Creek Road. When I did my video titled Up Church Fan Explores Pond Creek Road in Cheatham County, Tennessee, I grabbed these rocks last year. What if I snagged like some rocks from down here and then I painted them on them? That would be dope. I think I'm gonna do that. Paint like RHGC or Creek Squad on them or something. And then when I brought them home I was thinking what could I do with these things and so I ended up painting R-H-E-C which means raise hell eat cornbread if you're not an Upchurch fan but I painted that with the rebel flag inside I didn't include the stars though just because it makes the design look too busy and it just doesn't look good I mean if you notice I don't really ever use the stars in my designs it just makes it too complex like you would not be able to read stay rebel on the shirt if it had the stars and I figured that out actually with the orange cars matter koozies you could see the stars in the design there cheers again I swear to God, every time I pick up that drink, I'm gonna do a cheers. But yeah, I have three different RHEC rocks. RHEC rock one, two, and three, I believe it is. Those are all available. And while we're over here too, this Elvis Presley set is really cool. It consists of a 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 with a 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60 and an enclosed car hauler with Elvis wrapped on it. Cause now in theory, what I'm thinking about this is like, if Elvis was still around, and on tour, he would have the Cadillac in the back and he'd be in the Silverado. Well, at least to be being towed in the Silverado with the car hauler. But I think this is a cool piece. And then same with this Elvis Blue Hawaii set. Now, if you don't know much about Elvis, uh, Blue Hawaii was a movie that he starred in. I do not know what year does it say it on here? No, it doesn't say, but this toy's from 2001. That's the car that was in Blue Hawaii. It's a pretty cool piece that's available as well. I should probably throw this out there. Uh, none of this stuff is for auction. This is all just buy it now. Once you see it, you can grab it. If it's gone, it's gone. I'm sorry. As I said, I'll be listing more and more stuff as the days go on. Because I haven't said this publicly yet, but I am officially doing YouTube full time. I quit my job last weekend to pursue this full time. I want to do YouTube. I want to make these videos for you guys. And I honestly don't know why I went and got a job. I was working as a cashier at a grocery store and I have no clue why. I didn't need to. I could have just worked on the Traveler videos and actually released them back when I shot these videos and now I'm just sitting on 30 something videos that are unreleased and I'm so behind with them that like right now I'm filming another one that I shouldn't be filming but here I am. Yeah, so that's really exciting. I'm doing YouTube full time. And so literally my only source of income is this stuff. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I am selling a lot of cool stuff that I think people who follow me are actually gonna have some interest in. It's just exciting because like I'm taking the leap of faith. I'm giving it a shot and I'm gonna try and make it work. And if it doesn't work, well then, cool. I'll tip my hat and go back and get another job. Some of the smaller stuff that I'm selling is this don't tread on me Velcro. Oh, can't say Velcro, it's hook and loop. <laughs> I actually figured out the word V-E-L-C-R-O. That's actually restricted. Hopefully I don't get sued for just accidentally saying that, but yeah, apparently that's restricted because I tried to list that on eBay as a Velcro and eBay told me, no, you can't do that, man. And I was like, what the fuck? 
It's stupid, but whatever. This is really dope. So actually, I have a gun that goes with this, but eBay won't let me sell the gun because it's an old school gun. Where is it? This is obviously, of course, a Buffalo Bill uh, fringe holster made out of leather. I'm almost positive this is genuine leather as I point a gun at myself. It's a fake gun though, so it's okay. I mean, as you guys can tell, I mean, literally, I could conceal it with my fucking fist. This thing's really cool. This came with this. The gun is not included if you buy it off of eBay, but if you would like to purchase it with the gun, just contact me on Instagram or Facebook. Both of them are the same as my YouTube channel, Chunky Monkey 40 They'll be linked in the description. But yeah, this Buffalo Bill holster I thought was really cool. And same with this gun too. The gun is really what caught my eye because like it's a Ranger gun. It's a one-shot cap gun. You just put some big-ass cap right there. It almost looks like a one-shot pistol, honestly. But yeah, it's by uh, Z Toys. It's a Ranger gun. I think it's pretty cool. Just cute little gun, you know? Fucking pew. Pew, pew, pew. Holster. <laughs> Cowboy shit. But yeah, if you'd like to get the gun too, just comment or message me and we'll figure it out from there. Uh, lastly, actually, this is a uh, New York PD police interceptor. It's a 1999 Crown Victoria police interceptor made by Road Champs. It's pretty cool. I like this thing. It's got a lot of opening and working features, like both doors open and the trunk opens too, so that's kind of cool. This police car is actually the same style police car that was used by the first responders on September 11th, 2001 in New York City. That's it for the stuff that's available right now. Let's get into the stuff that's not available yet. You guys have already seen the Dixie Challenger and the Ranger gun. Well, this one's going to be available soon. This one, if you want it, message me. This car I thought was pretty dope. This one will be available soon. I just like it. It's orange with camo. Orange trucks matter, you know? I thought that one was pretty sweet. Next is the Fred Flintstones Flintmobile. I think this thing's pretty cool. I actually just built a Flintstones Lego set. You guys will see that video in a couple months. But yeah, so that'll be available soon. Same with this uh, 90210 car. This is the 65 Mustang that was used in the show. Man, I got this thing back in 2013. I feel like I bought that not too long ago. Next is the George Jetson 65 Ford Ranchero. It's pretty cool. It's got all the characters all around it and it kind of looks Jetson themed. Like, it looks like something you would see like in a real life Jetsons movie. You got one of the original Smoking the Bandit toys. It's a little faded where it says Bandit on the side, but yeah, this will be available. It's the Turbo Firebird made by Ertl in, uh, it doesn't say what year, but I'm guessing like 1979, 1980. That era when Smoking the Bandit was brand new. Now you're probably wondering where's all the Kid Rock stuff. And actually I do have a Kid Rock shirt available on the store. That's just from Kid Rock's 40th birthday concert. It was made by 99.5, which is a local Detroit radio station. And from that same era was this. This. this is a copy of Rock and Roll Jesus. Just a regular album, no big deal, right? Well, actually, it is a big deal because there is two tracks on this CD that you can't find on any other CDs. It's Guilty in Jackson, Mississippi, the live version. Now, those two tracks are hard to find on CDs because they only did it for the first run of Rock and Roll Jesus. To find a copy with those two tracks on it, it's definitely worth a lot more than the other copies of Rock and Roll Jesus, that's for sure. I'll be listing this soon. This one, I believe, is a 2XL, but but it's this Kid Rock American Badass. This is like a cool texture. It almost feels like a fake leather. I think it's pretty cool. It's all brown shirt, you know, American Badass Eagle. This next shirt is from Kid Rock's Pine Knob Concerts, the Hot September Nights Tour in 2019. This shirt actually, I think it's pretty cool because you usually see this part is black and this part is white, but this time it's the opposite on this one. I think it kind of stands out. It says Pine Knob on the back, which Pine Knob was the old name for DT Energy Music Theater in Clarkston, Michigan. Pine Knob, September 6th, 7th, 13th, and 14th, 2019. One of his more recent tours right before, you know, the bullshit pandemic. Next up, this shirt. Oh, that, that shirt was a small, by the way. I believe the brown one was a 2X. This one's from that same tour, Kid Rock, Hot September Nights. This is a medium shirt. It's got all the tour dates on the back, and I believe it says Pine Knob as well. Yep, Pine Knob Music Theater, Clarkston, Michigan, 2019. It's got Kid Rock on the front of it, kind of like a mug shot, sort of. That was my shirt. I think I wore that in a couple videos before. I believe I've also worn this one. I actually think I wore this in a Traveler video or two, but the Rod Father, it's a... Kid Rock shirt that's a knockoff of the Godfather. It's him fishing for the Kid Rock fish fry. So that's why it's the Rod Father, because fish fry, Rod Father. I thought it was pretty funny when I bought it. This shirt is a medium as well. So yeah, that's basically everything I've got right now that's come into the eBay store and will be available for you guys to snag up for yourself. It depends on whenever you're watching this video. Some of this stuff, or even all of this stuff, might be gone. I don't know. I just figured I'd announce it to you guys because I know I have a lot of hardcore Kid Rock and Dukes of Hazard fans following me because of the videos that I make on my channel, which means the world to me because it actually gives me the opportunity to fucking quit my job. 
job and pursue this as a career. So that's really cool. Thank you guys so much for that. Again, if you watched all the way through this video, I'm not begging you guys to buy stuff. You don't have to. You don't even have to watch my videos or watch this video. I just figured I'd share it with you and announce it because this YouTube channel is a documentary of my whole life uh, for the last seven years almost. And this is going to become something that I'm going to be doing quite a lot, honestly. I won't really be doing videos like this where I just sit down and talk about it, but I'll be sharing it on Instagram and Facebook and whatever social media platform comes out that isn't so unbiased that you get banned for saying fuck. Shit. I'm sorry, YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoy taking a little bit of a sneak peek into some of my personal collection. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe. And again, don't forget to go and check out ChunkyMonkey40.com slash shop for some of my exclusive merchandise, which includes all the Orange Cars Matter and Chunky Monkey merchandise and Stay Rebel as well. I even got Orange Cars Matter shirts on there too. And then everything else on this tape. Oh, and also you can't forget the entries for the General Lee that's signed by me. All this other fun stuff is available on ChunkyMonkey40 underscore one on eBay. Go and check it out. The links are at the top of the description. It'll go my website and then the eBay store. But yeah, with all that said and out of the way, I am ChunkyMonkey40 at YouTube.com officially full time. And in the great words of Kid Rock, ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. Cheers and stay rebel. Fuck them haters. Just some good old boys. Never need no harm. Beats all you ever saw in a trouble.